beloved. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is listed in my description box below if you are keen to tap into my Patreon. Or you can tap into my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we spiritually met here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Vengeful. 
dangerous even. But I feel like this person would never act on this hate directly towards you. This is the sort of person that will do things behind the scenes and try and, you know what I'm saying, do whatever it takes behind the scenes, conjure up whatever it takes and try to win at all costs, but behind the scenes. This is somebody that would never be direct with you, all right? They definitely, you have definitely somebody here that feels a type of way about your entire existence. Like literally, you just being you bothers somebody very, very much, all right? Somebody's not satisfied or content with the fact that you are living and breathing, literally. And I feel like this person is struggling to get out of this energy of like stalking you all the time. I feel like this is somebody that is constantly stalking you here, constantly. All right, but they can't get out of that energy. It's like I feel like somebody's addicted to your energy for real. Okay, we have the four of pentacles here. So this person here, they want your life to sort of have like this abrupt stop. Like wherever there's progress, wherever there's um, a way forward for you, like they wish that it could just end, all right? Whatever makes you happy, whatever brings you joy, whatever you celebrate, you know, whoever you are surrounded by and connected with that puts you in a position of feeling happy. Like somebody just wants to bring an end to all of that because they hate you, all right? They wish that everybody else would hate you as much as they do, all right? But as much as there's hate, I feel like this person here, they are hiding why they hate you. So somebody wouldn't just conjure up the spirit of hate towards another person for this long, because we've established that this person here has been in this energy for quite some time. We have the temperance. The four pentacles to the temperance represents somebody here that isn't in peace. Like, they're constantly triggered, constantly annoyed, constantly pissed off. All right? All right? And I feel like this person is like a buildup of all things that they're keeping inside of them. Because as, we, as, we, as we've established, it's like the amount of hate that I see here, because it's the Ace of Cups reverse. It's like, this is strong hate here. Strong vengeful energy, strong... Um, energy of somebody that is addicted to your energy, all right? And they bothered, heavily, frustrated, pissed off, you know, very annoyed, very mad, like big person, big mad. To the point where this person here, they try to hide it, all right? Because if they show it, they'll really come off as the hater that they are, you know, even a bit wicked or evil. They'll come off like, damn, like you really that pressed about this person just existence you know what's really wrong with you like they're scared of coming off like that but in all actual reality there's reasons for this person's hate towards you for it to be even taken away they peace like this it's like somebody's not content like you know when when your spirit is like it's like i feel like somebody's spirit is at an uneasy place you know what i'm saying it's almost as if you swear that this person has something going on in their life that's putting them in this position, but it's pr somebody's just pressed about another person, which is you, like literally. They're struggling to pour into themselves because they're constantly thinking about ways to sabotage you, defeat you, win at all costs. It's like the way in which they ponder and think about this, their thought process takes them to a very dark place because this is somebody here that isn't right, like, like for real. And I feel like there's no reason for this person to be in this energy towards you. They just look at you as a threat. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this person is worried about what's to come in your life, right? Whether it's in love, friendship, business, home life, personal, you know, they worried about what's to come. Even down to the fact of like how you will look in the next five years, in the next two, two years. Like somebody's just worried about your life. Like 
where you are headed, how things are going to work out for you, what you will be in this point in your life, how things are going to excel, progress, like literally with this will of fortune. So this person is literally always in this energy of trying to figure out ways to stop that. Like, how can I prevent this person's forward movement so that I keep them in this energy of lack of growth, whether it's within or external? They try to just figure out ways to come at you, whether they come at you spiritually, whether they try to, you know what I'm saying, do something within your reality that you don't know about, like indirectly, you know what I'm saying, to sabotage you, create an obstacle. But then sending somebody to try and do something or, you know, creating some form of drama in your life. Like, somebody is just in this energy, all right? The devil energy that kept peaking earlier, I feel like this person here is addicted to doing this, all right? With that devil energy. They're addicted to trying to figure out what they can do to put an end to what you are doing in life. You just live in life. Whether it's your love life, you know what I'm saying? Whether you were just healing or celibate, single, you know, your beauty, your attraction, like, you know, like, literally somebody is trying to figure out all ways and aspects to target your life. Like, what angle can they tackle this, that, and the third? It's crazy. It's literally too crazy. Plus, somebody here isn't right, like... They don't function from a place of love and their mind is not right either. It's all about winning at all costs. It's all about what works for them. Like this is someone that is a narcissist. Yeah, we have the devil coming out again. So this person here, I do sense that like, as they threatened about like, also the pace of your of your life like you know how certain people's life just takes off in a certain way or certain aspects of their life certain uh things about them like just happen in a very good way like this person is worried about the good that is to come for your life like what are you destined for what is your fate like damn some of these big person bothered about you here beloved it's taking away their peace. They're unable to move forward with their own life. They're unable to think straight and pour into themselves. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This person knows that, you know, no matter what, you are somebody that is self-reliant. Like, you don't depend on anyone or you're not somebody that is codependent. You know what I'm saying? They look at you as somebody that stands their ground and understands the game of life. All right, they look at you as somebody that has a plan for themselves. All right, so this person is threatened by all of that. The fact that you are reliable, all right, the fact that you have your own thought process of life that doesn't need any validation externally. You know, you don't need a round of applause, you don't need acknowledgement, you are content, you're happy, all right, you're chilling. All right, it's like this person wishes that at least you were like boring or unattractive or lack style. Like they looking at you and they feel like you take so many boxes and that's putting them in such an insecure place. They wish that there was just something about you they can pinpoint and you know like a big flaw or something like that, like something really wrong about you. But when they look at you, they look at you as somebody that is very very modest, very humble, very. Uh, beautiful as well, very attractive, all right? It just pisses them off even more, triggers them even more, threatens them even more, all right? I mean, come on to take these. We have the Eight of Wands reversed, and then we have the Death. That this person, like the reason they're so focused on your fate and destiny is because they want to, they are addicted to figuring out a way to prevent what's good in your life from coming to you. Like, let's say you were destined for marriage, you're destined to have a luxurious, comfortable, um, content life, or you know what I'm saying, you were meant to have a soul tribe, you know, you were meant to have a, a beautiful awakening that puts you in a very 
beautiful place within your own intuition. You know what I'm saying? You are, let's say you just meant for a lot of things. You meant to have certain amounts of financial stability and things like that. Or you guess them to be very beautiful, just very um, elegant, graceful. You guess them to be seen in the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? All those type of things, you take that how it resonates. But, you know, whatever in relation to your destiny and fate here, it bothers this person and pisses them off and annoys them to the point where they really addicted and fixated and obsessed with trying to figure out a way to prevent what is meant for you in a good way. What is meant for you to come into your life. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to prevent what is meant for you to come into your life. Like, whatever it is that you are meant to even experience, they're they trying to just stop that. They sh they're trying to stop it, all right? Somebody's trying to put an end to that with this dead energy. They're trying to put you in the state of being, in this energy of like, your life is just no longer what you want it to be. You're depressed, you're sad, you're lonely, you're miserable, all right? Somebody wants you to feel pathetic within yourself and have all sorts of low self-esteem, all right? Because they have so much hate in their heart for you that it bothers them, the fact that you're even alive, well, and breathing. Isn't that crazy? Like, somebody here is not right. Like, somebody's tripping on you. They don't go a day without trying to, like, they, look at this devil energy again, you like, somebody's literally, look at this, ever so to the devil, somebody's literally in the entrapment of their own sort of, like, hate. They can't move on with their life without figuring out a way to stop yours. Like, what is that? Like, this is just crazy. Somebody is literally in that energy, literally, with this devil to the end of souls. Somebody's threatening that you're beautiful, you're attractive, all right? Somebody's threatening that you are seen in a particular way or your image, your likeness illuminates a certain type of identity, all right? Look at that, Queen of Wands, High Priestess. This is like the energy of somebody that is intuitive, mysterious, and yet very beautiful, very vibrant at the same time. Like you have the energy of somebody that stands out, but at the same time you have this mystery, all right? And this is somebody that, compared to that, you know, they would love to also possess that sort of identity or likeness or aura, rather, all right? They would like to possess that, but this person, I feel like they, they have such a, a weird way of looking at life, all right? Because they don't want to acknowledge the fact that you inspire them, they'd rather hate you. Because the way in which they look at you, they acknowledge all these traits about you. They just hate that you embody them. They wish that they would be the ones to embody them. They hate the fact that you stand in your own energy, you know what I'm saying, you know how to harness your own energy, your likeness, you know, like, but at the same time you can be very mysterious, secretive, discreet, silent in how you do life and how you move, you know. And this person, I feel like they chat about, like they be talking all types of things, they be saying this and doing that and they don't have that to them, you know, that elegant grace of moving and maneuvering through life. They're always in everyone's face. They're trying to be seen, acknowledged. They're trying to get around the applause. They're trying to do this one wrong. They're trying to step on that one's toes. They're trying to, you know, it's like this person is just all over the place. And they feel the type of way. That's just an understatement. To say they feel the type of way is an understatement. They, somebody's mad that you're not like that. Like you're not in anyone's face or you might be somebody that is really reserved, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just keep to yourself and you naturally embody that energy. Like, it makes them so mad. It makes them so upset. Like, they literally cannot take it. And at the same time, they have this fixation and obsession over your aura. They wish they could embody it. And that's why they're so fixated about your life because they just wonder where you're headed, what's coming for you, how you're gonna be, like. This is literally the analogy of like a fan to a, and you know what I'm saying, their favorite idol or something like that, like. It's like that sort of analogy, that reference point, that case study, that example where somebody here, as much as they hate to admit it or they hate to look at it like that, it's true, you know what I'm saying? They just tell themselves whatever to make themselves believe otherwise because they so desperately want to be seen as above you. 
Like, that's why the Holy Spirit sabotage you so that your life doesn't go the way you want it to or the way it has to. They want to play God in your life. But it's not going to work out like that. As much as everything else never worked out in this person's favor when it comes to you, they direct or indirect hints of your life, upon your life, towards your life. It's just not meant to happen. And, you know, with the spirit of souls reversed, you are meant to be somebody that is not in this energy of like pain or sorrow or misery. Like, this person will not be able to inflict this into your life. As much as they want to, all right, they want to be an obstacle or create drama or, you know, they want to put you in the position of pain, of misery, of certain sorrow, they will not be able to do it. And it's going to eat this person up alive every single day, every single night that they won't, that they can't do this. They will be able to do this no matter what your hits, what moon phase hits, what this, that. They won't be able to do it. And that's what's going to chew them up alive. And that's their karma for even beginning to try and sabotage someone like you to, do, to begin with. All right. I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. All right. If you are keen or interested in becoming a member of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love, spiritual path. All right. On my Patreon, I also offer personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link to my Patreon is listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website. I'm grateful, alright, for your time. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.